So let's go ahead and take a look at the Zillow application for real estate. Um, they recreated the iPad, uh, they recreated the iPhone application specifically for the iPad. Um, obviously because of its size, uh, they also added several new features to it as well. But as you can tell when you open it up, um, it gives you a couple different options over here to view by a specific location. You can type it in. Um, you can also do a filter with a minimum and maximum pricing, minimum, uh, minimum and maximum bedrooms as well. Street view or satellite view and simply hit apply. And over here on the right hand side you can see they have a list of the homes that are available. Scroll through that and you can also come up here to the top and hit the details button and you can actually scroll through each particular property um, like that. Each time you uh, hit one of the properties and it has multiple images you can actually swipe through the images this way and if you want to make the images larger you simply tap it once and it brings up the gallery view. You can come down here at the bottom, tap and look at, the, look at the photos, or you can also swipe. Great features for the consumer to see the properties that are out there. You can also tap on the gallery button on the Zillow iPad application, and you can look at specific homes this way by simply scrolling up or down. Uh, single photos, or obviously have one single, as you can see this one has two. You can tap it this way and see the photos along with the information over here on the right hand side. Clicking on several of these links will take you directly to Zillow's website, which I touched on by mistake, but nonetheless, uh, we'll take it to their website and pull up Zestimates, home value graphs and charge for that particular address. We'll go back to the application real quick. Back to the gallery view. Again, it just gives you a different option to scroll through. You can also add the property to a favorite. You can hit, touch the button that says save as favorite. No, save only to the iPad. Yes, sign it on to your existing Zillow account or simply cancel. I saved it to my iPad, come up here and click favorites as you can tell the one I just saved and one I was viewing the other day. Back to the map and of course it features Google's Google Maps where you can simply scroll, scroll around and, and pinch and zoom as you normally would. So that's the Zillow real estate application for the iPad. Hope you guys enjoyed it.